All right, guys, uh, welcome back to Comic Universe, uh, DPZ Roland Solo, and today I'm going to be reviewing the, well, giving my thoughts, not so much a review, but today I'm going to be doing a trailer discussion on uh, Batman TMNT, the uh, animated trailer. Well, it's Batman versus Ninja Turtles, but still. So, this trailer is uh, going to be interesting to talk about, because again, I'm still surprised that this is a thing. This is a thing that is happening. Like, it still blows my mind. As I was watching the trailer, I couldn't help but think to myself, damn, this is a thing that is in, you know, it's something you never thought would happen, and then it happens, you know. It's so... It's so crazy to think that this is, um... You know, it's so crazy to think that this is something that actually became a thing. Because you never think that, you know, studios would work together nice enough to allow this to happen. You wouldn't think that Nickelodeon and Warner Brothers would be cool enough to do this. And let alone, you know, make it for a, you know, and do it not only, you know, with IDW and DC, yeah, do it three times, well, four times if you count the 90s cartoon comic, uh, the, uh, the comic where the 90s Batman met the 2012 Turtles. So yeah, technically four times now and then get an animated movie. It's just, you don't think about stuff like that. So, this film, pretty much, the trailer kind of pretty much, it follows a lot of the same beats of the first uh, comic by James Tinian, in that the, uh, the Turtles, as well as the Foot Clan, have been uh, brought to Gotham City, by, a work of Kr by the work of Krang, and now they're fighting their way to get back, but along the way, Shredder teams up with Ra's al Ghul, and Batman teams up with uh, the Ninja Turtles to stop them. Now, it's interesting to note is that in this comic, I mean, in this movie, excuse me, in this movie, we do see some changes in that um, they are working directly, you know, Shredder and uh, Ra's al Ghul are working directly with Joker, um, to tear apart Gotham and give all the supervillains mutagen, which didn't happen in the comic. In the comic, he was more of a sideline character. Um, he was more of a, a, you know, Joker was more of a sideline character, and if anything, he was working more more closely with Penguin, which we do see in, a little bit in this uh, trailer. Um, what's also interesting, though, is that Batgirl is in here. Uh, Damien was the only other Bat character, aside from Alfred, who was uh, in the first comic, so it's interesting to see Batgirl in here. The rest of the Bat family didn't really partake in anything until the, uh, the, second, com until the second comic uh, involving Bane as the main villain. Which maybe they'll do, if this, I, I, I'm pretty sure if this movie does well, they will deeply consider doing the, uh, the second story and the third story, because that, the third comic is coming out in, the, in May, and that's going to involve them, Batman and the Ninja Turtles, going to Dimension X to take on Krang. Which should be oodles of fun, really, it should be oodles of fun. Anywho... Um, I do like the animation style in here. It looks like its own turtle verse. Like, it does look like its own, you know, it doesn't look like a, you know, any kind of Ninja Turtles we've seen. If anything, though, it does look like a weird mix of the 2012 cartoon mixed with uh, the Mirage comic turtle, like the original Mirage comic turtles. Whereas Batman is just kind of his own Batman continuity, and I like that. I like that they're going with their own continuity in this. I like how they're essentially doing their own continuity for this story, which is fine. Uh, I think that's the best way to do it, because in the, um, I will say that the Tinian books do try to do, like, continuity for both the Ninja Turtles and, uh, Batman in their respective comics, and it just kind of falls flat because it's kind of obvious Tinian doesn't read the IDW Turtles, so that was kind of a problem. Um, anyway, but making its own thing is fine. Um, we also get to see that among the uh, the Foot Clan members, Baxter Stockman is there, which Baxter was not in the fir in the in the first comic. So it's kind of cool to see Baxter Stockman in here, and as a fly, no less. So I thought that was pretty cool that Stockman is in here, and you know, and a fly. So that's you know that's cool. I wonder if since they're taking liberties with this, I wonder if they're going to have Bebop and Rocksteady in here. I didn't see them in the cast, but you never I didn't see Baxter Stockman in the cast list either. So maybe they'll surprise us and have Bebop and Rocksteady in here as well. That would be kind of cool. Uh, the action sequences were, um, look pretty cool. Um, I, I, uh, 
I dug what I saw so far, but I'm hoping they don't make this all about Batman. I'm really hoping, because the first comic was, the big problem with this was that uh, it was more Bat-centric than Ninja Turtle-centric, and that, uh, that was kind of a problem for me. It was like, oh, look how cool Batman is, and look how the Ninja Turtles are still teenagers. Blah. That was kind of my problem with the first comic. Um, so that was kind of the problem I had, and hopefully they'll, you know, they'll, ba they'll balance out this animated film a little more. Maybe they'll balance this out way more. Um, and yeah, who knows, maybe if this does, if this is successful, if, um, this movie is, is successful in DVD and digital sales, maybe it will spark, uh, DC and maybe even other companies to do more, you know, crossovers with other companies, you know. Maybe Warner Brothers and, D and Nickelodeon can get together to do other projects together. Or maybe, you know, maybe it'll inspire other companies outside of Warner Brothers and DC and Nickelodeon to maybe cross over with each other. Like, maybe Cartoon Network will go to Nickelodeon and say, hey, would you like to cross over this and this and see what happens? That would be, that's what I'm really hoping for with this big movie, is that maybe it will show that companies can work together and it can be a financial success. That's what I really want out of this movie. I want it to be a good animated film, don't get me wrong. I want this to be a really good animated film, don't get me wrong on that, you know, don't misunderstand me. But the big thing I want from this is that I want this to be not only successful, I want this to show other companies that, hey, we can work together and make a shit ton of money out of it. That's what I really would like, you know, that's what I really want to see is, you know, companies coming together and working together and, make and giving us products that, you know, we've only dreamed about. So maybe that's the, the real stepping stone with this one. Although you could make the argument with Cartoon All-Stars. Actually, you could make the argument with Cartoon All-Stars. That, that was garbage. That was, you know, that was anti-drug awareness garbage. So maybe this could be the real stepping stone. This could be the real stepping stone here. Anyway, so you guys tell us in the comments below, what do you guys think of Batman TMNT, Batman vs. Ninja Turtles? Do you guys like, did you guys like the trailer? Did you guys hate the trailer? Uh, what are you guys hoping to see? Are you hoping this is going to be successful? Just comment below, let us know. And also, uh, stay tuned because my, uh, you know, Jay and Dubs are also going to throw their two cents into this uh, trailer as well. So stay tuned for that. But we will see you right here once more in the universe.